hello everyone so today i will be showing you how i apply these beautiful designer foils on a nail so i already applied an acrylic color on this nail and i filed and boxed it i will be applying this one this is one of my favorite ones make sure that when you're about to apply this don't touch the this side right here don't touch it too much because that can affect a little bit the transferring I always just hold it over here and I cut whatever piece I need so I'm gonna cut this much because I don't need too much if you touch it on there it affects the design a little bit because we have oil on our skin even if we don't feel it we do have it so I will be using my gel foil what you need to do is apply one coat of this gel foil so i don't like holding the nail while i'm gonna transfer because it's super uncomfortable so what i do is i place the bottle under and i just so that i can hold the finger for me okay i want it to be right there so now, if you want, you can remove it, I do. I will be using this thing, I don't know how it's called, but I like to use it because it's like it has like a rubber. I like it to be able to rub it. You could always do it with your fingers if you don't have this, but I really like it because it puts a lot of pressure. So now you just rub it. I recommend using a gel foil more than a glue foil because with the gel foil you just apply one coat, you cure it and you're ready to apply your foil. But with the glue foil you have to apply it then wait for it to dry and that's time consuming. And also with the glue you have to apply more, like you have to apply a lot of glue. I used to use this glue foil before and I noticed that I would have to apply like two coats in order for the foil to transfer perfectly so if you do use a glue I recommend you to do two coats like put a lot on the nail that way it transfers perfectly that's why I like to use more the gel foil because you don't have to worry about none of that you just do one coat and it's all set so yeah just make sure to rub it all the way Okay, so now I'm going to remove it so you guys can see how well it transfers. There you go. So now you can apply a top coat to seal it. Super easy, super pretty. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do it if you are applying a gel polish on the nail instead of doing it with an acrylic color because sometimes you're gonna be doing it like with a gel polish and this is the way I do it so I apply whatever color that I want to apply I'm gonna do two coats of this and then I'm gonna apply my foil on the nail okay so for nails that you apply a gel polish like to transfer the foil I recommend to if you don't have a matte top coat to wipe it and buff it and then apply the gel foil you know and also for the glue if you're using a glue foil I recommend the same thing but if you do have a matte you can just apply matte top coat and cure it and then apply your gel foil so here I did this on purpose so you guys can see what happens if you do not wipe and buff or apply matte top coat before applying your gel foil or your glue foil. As you can see the transfer foil does not apply correctly. So you just apply one coat of matte if you have a matte. Then cure. So after you cure the matte you're going to apply the gel foil one coat and then you cure it Dale. after you cure the gel foil you're gonna apply your foil transfer time to rub it good you see 
So yeah, just make sure that you rub it. You can just go like this. I'm gonna show you with show you with this one. Right? This is an example. You can go like this and then come up. It's not gonna work like that. Because you want the the design to transfer completely on the nail. Like you want it to be perfect. Right? So you can't just do that. That's not gonna work. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift so you see how it comes out. See, let me zoom in. 